Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about delete statement. Topics that we will cover up in this video are delete statement, syntax of delete statement and some point of caution while working with delete statement. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. We can delete existing records using the delete statement. Deleted records aren't deleted permanently from the platform, but they are placed in the recycle bin for 15 days. Of course, the deleted record can be restored from the recycle bin within 15 days. Make sure the record being deleted should have an ID field to get recognized. For example, here you can see we are performing a so-called query and getting a specific record from the contact, storing it in the contact variable and then while using a delete statement, we are deleting that specific contact. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of delete statement. So let's see how we can delete an existing record. So let's open the anonymous window. To delete a specific record, you should know the record ID of that specific record. So to get that, what you can do is, you can write a so-called query and hold the specific record which you want to delete in a as object variable. Now definitely you can directly provide the record ID over here but as Salesforce recommends and as I always used to say never hard code your record ID in your Apex code. So here I am writing down a so called query through which I will get the ID from contact. I will use a where clause and whenever you are performing such delete statement I always recommend you to use a field which is unique. So in that case you will always get that unique record which you want to delete. So let's delete this specific record which we edited in the previous video. So I am copying this email id, pasting it over here and holding this in a contact variable. To be on the safer side you can also use the limit statement. So I am just using here limit 1 and all that you need to do is to delete that specific object. Now if I click on execute. And if I go back to my org now and refresh on this page, it will show an error because this specific record has been deleted. You can verify that by going to the recycle bin. So click on the app launcher, type in recycle bin, click on recycle bin and here you can see this specific record has been deleted. You can select this record and restore it if you want it back to your org itself or you can select and delete it so that it can get permanently deleted from your org. Now one more point to note over here is before that let me restore this specific record. Now, when I am using this query and holding the record in a singleton object, in that situation, if that record is found, definitely it will execute. But if the record is not found, it is going to give you an exception. So let me first execute it. This time it will execute because I have already restored it. So you can see it executed successfully. And now if I go back to my org and refresh on the recycle bin, you can see I found that record in the recycle bin now. Now, if I am going to execute it again, this time this record will not be found. So you will see that there will be an error over here. And I will explain you what is the reason for that exception. You can see the exception is there. It is in line number one and the exception is saying that there is no row for assignment to S object. So when you are having a singleton object and there is no value to assign over here, then you get an exception. I already told you in one of the previous video that if there is more than one value, then also you get an exception. Now that you have recovered by using this limit, right? But how to recover this? Now definitely in the future playlist, I am going to discuss about exception handling. But how to do that over here is, you can use a list. So instead of using a singleton object, you can use or you can always use a list. So because we are using a list, now we don't need this limit. And for deleting that specific single record, what you can do is, you can check the size of the list is greater than zero. Or you can also check if the list is not empty. Then in that case, we will delete not the whole list, but the first record only. We can use this list as an array like contact zeroth index or you can also use the get and specify zero over here. Now this will be executed only if the list is having any value and now you will not get any exception. See there is no exception there though this specific code is not executed because this time the list size is zero. I can show you that by printing the list size over here and execute. Now in the debug only you can find that the list size is zero. So that's how you can overcome that exceptional situation over here. 
but definitely in future we will see exception handling and that is one of the standard way we do that that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care